Hello everyone, so today we'll be talking about the child bug score. The child bug score consists of five clinical features and it's a score that is used to assess the prognosis of chronic liver disease and cirrhosis. The child bug score was originally developed in 1973 to predict surgical outcomes in patients presenting with bleeding esophageal viruses. So what does this child bug classification consists of what are the parameters so the parameters as we had mentioned that there are five parameters which is ascites, encephalopathy bilirubin albumin prothrombin time which is prothrombin time is put as seconds over normal so the scores that we can have is one two three so as we try to score them, ascites, if there is no ascites, you get 1 point. If there is mild ascites, 2 points. If there is moderate to severe ascites, it's 2 points. Encephalopathy, if there is no encephalopathy, it's 1. If there is mild, 2. Marked encephalopathy gives 3 points. And then the bilirubin level, which is in micromoles per liter, less than 34, gives you 1 point. 34 to 52 points and greater than 50 is 3 points. And albumin, which is in grams per liter. If it's greater than 35, you get 1 point. If it's between 28 to 35, it's 2 points. If it's less than 28, then that's 3 points. Prothrombin time, which is seconds over time. If it's less than 4 over the normal, less than 4 seconds over the normal, then that's 1 point. If it's 4 to 6 seconds over the normal, then that's 2 points. If it's greater than 6 seconds over the normal, that's 3 points. So then depending on what scores you get from the 5 parameters, then you add the above, you add above scores for your patient for survival figures that are given below. So then they're actually put into three grades, which is child A, B, C. So if the points add up to less than seven, then the one year survival rate is 82%. The five year survival rate is 45% and 10 year survival rate is 25%. Then if your patient falls into category B, which is seven to nine, so the one year survival is 62%, 5 year survival is 20%, and 10 year survival is 7%. Then if your patient falls into category C, in which the score has to be above 10, so the one year survival is 42%, the 5 year survival is 20%, and the 10 year survival is 0%. So this is all about the childbirth score. So there's another score that has actually been being used, which is known as the MELT score, which is the full form is model of end stage liver disease, in which you do 3.8 times natural logarithm times bilirubin in milligrams per deciliter plus 9.6 times natural logarithm times creatinine in mg per deciliter plus 11.2 times natural logarithm multiplied by internal normalized ratio plus 6.4. So as you have seen, we need very specific units. So if you want to convert your bilirubin from micromoles per liter to mg per deciliter, you divide it by 17. And if you want to convert your creatinine from micromoles per liter, to milligrams per deciliter divided by 88.4 so if okay so if the score comes out to be less than 10 then the one year survival is 97 percent and then if the score is between 30 to 40 then the survival is 70 percent okay thank you very much